As we all know, the dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. One of the more powerful dark side abilities utilized by the Sith for millennia is that of Force Drain, which contained a number of powers under its umbrella, such as Drain Life, Drain Force, and Force Diminish. As their names suggest, these abilities provided powerful Sith with offensive and defensive weapons to target the health and force power of their opponents, or even siphon their enemy's life energy to bolster themselves. Recognized by Darth Bane, these abilities were part of a school of force combat called Body, and were utilized by drawing upon the power of the Living Force, formulating within the cells of the Darksider, and then being unleashed outwardly. Variants of the ability were favored by the Ancient Sith, used by powerful Sith Lords like Darth Malak, Darth Revan, Darth Nihilus, and the Sith Emperor Vitiate, with the latter two using Force Drain to consume the life force of entire planets. Like many abilities of the Ancient Sith, this powerful dark side ability was lost over the centuries, or at the very least, decreased in use among the Sith Order, going the way of abilities like Essence Transfer. We've discussed in past videos why so many abilities of the Ancient Sith were forgotten by future eras. Those videos give a good history on the distinctions between the Sith Lords seen in the old Sith Wars and those of the new Sith Wars, and how the Order eventually adopted a policy that not just rejected the teachings of the Ancient Sith, but hid their teachings so as to uphold a new tradition of equality, ensuring no single Dark Lord grew too powerful to challenge those in power. However, thanks to the efforts of Darth Revan and Darth Bane, the powerful dark side ability of Force Drain and its variants that were so favored by the Ancient Sith were saved, eventually allowing Darth Sidious to benefit from the power. Darth Revan learned the power and its ability to drain life energy from his opponent not from the powerful Sith or Jedi of his era, but directly from the teachings of Zalashiel the Blasphemer, an ancient Force user who dedicated themselves to the dark side. In fact, it was believed the ability of Force Drain was pioneered by Zalashiel, and although it experienced various degrees of use over the millennia, it would eventually regain prominence among Sith like Nihilus, Vitiate, and even Freedon Nad. Having learned the techniques from the lessons of Zalashiel, Revan recorded the lessons within his holocron, passing on the ability to those who studied it, ensuring the dark side power had a place among the Sith Order. But after Revan's death, his holocron wasn't studied. In fact, as new Sith would rise to begin the new Sith Wars centuries after Revan's era, Revan's holocron remained hidden upon the planet of Rakata Prime, or Lahan as it subsequently became known, along with its secrets. That is, until it was located by Darth Bane roughly 1,000 years before the Clone War. Of course, Bane would adopt the teachings within Revan's holocron that would form the basis for his Rule of Two. But Bane also accepted the teachings Revan passed on from Zalashiel the Blasphemer regarding the ability of Drain Life, understanding fully both its immense power and its origins. While Bane would destroy Revan's holocron, the powerful ability of Force Drain was now back within the knowledge of the Sith Order. Bane would record these lessons himself within his own manuscript entitled, not surprisingly, The Rule of Two, detailing how the ability of Drain Life should be used in combat. Although the ability was considered more on the basis of individual combat rather than the consumption of entire planets, the concept was still the same in the era of Bane. Life energy could be siphoned from one's opponent into their own essence. It was this manuscript that eventually formed the Sith archives passed down from Master and Apprentice in the Rule of Two era, studied by Darth Plagueis, Dooku, and Darth Sidious. Out of the 15 Force abilities outlined by Bane in his manuscript, Drain Life, the ability utilized by the legendary Sith Lords, was the only one individually singled out and focused upon by Sidious. Like the great Dark Lords who came before him, Sidious knew the ability's awesome potential. Sidious would go on to benefit greatly from the power rescued and rediscovered by Revan and Bane. Having turned the deep core planet of Biss into a secret throne world in which to develop his plan for immortality, Sidious used the ability of Drain Life to siphon the life energy from the planet's inhabitants, allowing the Dark Lord to both fuel his dark side experiments and increase his own longevity. None of this would be possible without the efforts of Bane and Revan, as their intervention allowed for the dark side ability of Drain Life and its variants to pass from the era of Malak, Revan, and Nihilus through Bane's era, and ultimately, into the hands of Darth Sidious himself. So there we have it, how Revan and Bane ensured the dark side ability of Drain Life survived among the Sith for millennia. 
We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. Or perhaps follow us on Twitter, at SW Reading Club, for updates regarding the channel. Or support the channel through Patreon, for access to exclusive rewards and discussions. If not for me... For Lahan.